Hey everybody. Just gonna give it a little bit and let some people hop on. I'm Lee from the Turquoise Valentine and we're gonna make a patriotic um, craft tonight. I'm just waiting for some of my peeps. <clears throat> There's somebody. Say hello when you get on so I'll know that you're here. Hey, Cherise. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Elizabeth from Pennsylvania. <clears throat> Good that you're here. Hey, Kathy. And there's another Kathy. Kathy with a K. Kathy with a C. Hey, Susan. I'm good. Hey, Sylvia. Hey, Lori and Julie. All my peeps. Danette, hey. Hope y'all are doing well. Hey, Rochelle and Jennifer and Teresa. <clears throat> hey, Bobby. Mary Kay. Hey, Paige and Judy. Look at everybody getting on. Yay! Hey, Martha. <clears throat> I'm gonna throw y'all. All right. So, I wonder what y'all are wondering what we're gonna do tonight. I know. Um, I've had some requests for some patriotic stuff, even though I'm kind of like, well, I'm still hanging on the spring and doing flowers and all the pretty stuff and all that. So, so I'm gonna change it up a little tonight and I'm gonna do some patriotic stuff because um, Memorial Day is the end of May and then you got June and then of course July 4th. So, and in the crafting world, if you're a creative person, you have to kind of do a holiday ahead um, so like we start working on Christmas in October, so, which is crazy. I know that's why Hobby Lobby puts all their Christmas stuff out in July. So, uh, anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Susan. So anyway, so we're going to do, um, oh my gosh, it's Sandy is from Australia. Hey, welcome. Glad you're here. Um, hey, Carol. Okay. So what we're going to do, this is only a simple craft tonight. It's, I'm sure it's been done. I'm sure you've seen it done, but maybe you haven't. So um, I know everybody's kind of still locked in and not being able to get out and do stuff. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, Carol. Not being able to get out and get stuff. So this is at Wal This stuff I'm using tonight is from Walmart. Um, it's these the little plank. You can see that. It says the pallet planks. And they're like $2.54 or something in the craft aisle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so these are from Walmart. And I also picked up, if you go into the party aisle, they have these little paper straws, okay? I don't remember how much they were, but they weren't much, like a dollar or something maybe. Um, and I got the red and I got the blue. <clears throat> I feel like I got some in my throat. I just got the eating supper and I just kind of inhaled it. Okay. So if you'll notice, in the packs, they have polka dot ones and they have striped ones, okay? And the red's the same way, but I've already taken out all the striped ones and all the polka dot left because we're going to use the striped red ones for, um, thank you, Cherise. Hey, Wanda. Hey, Diane. Thank you, Kathy. Um, the polka dot ones, I'm not going to use. I use the red striped ones, <clears throat> but you can do this however you want, okay? And they, these straws come in, um, like they'll have on the aisle, it has like, they'll have plates, napkins and stuff, and then straws of every color. So if you look on the party aisle at Walmart, they'll have, they're all color coordinating the napkins, the plates, the straws, the streamers, and all that stuff. So if you look on that aisle, you'll see these straws and they're paper. <clears throat> and guys, I'll be honest, better get used to it because eventually we'll all be using paper straws because they're getting rid of straws. Um, all over the country. I know I've heard a lot about California. If somebody's from California, they can probably vouch for that. So we're going to probably all be using paper straws before, you know, much, not much longer. So anyway, um, so I just took out some polka dot ones out of this pack and then I took the striped ones out of the red pack. So this is what we have. Um, so I guess y'all know what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to attempt to make a flag on here and I'm not done this. Hey, Colin. I'm not done this. Um, thank you, Sylvia. I'm not done this ahead of time, so I'm just doing it for the first time in front of you guys. So uh, bear with me, but <clears throat> let me get my colors all sorted out. And these are pretty, um, I mean, they're pretty stiff to be paper. 
I was surprised when I got them out of the pack. I didn't expect them to be as stiff as they are, but they are. <clears throat> so, here's our red ones and our blue ones. So, I decided to use the blue ones with the polka dots for my, the blue part instead of stars. It's just going to be blue polka dot. And then I'm going to use the striped ones for the striped. And you can use the red polka dots if you want to. Um, it's up to you. I just decided to use these. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Opal. Hey, Yvonne. <coughs> Yvonne. Evie. Okay. So, this is my board from Walmart and my straws. And then I'm going to use hot glue. And, of course, I've got um, some ribbons I cut because we're going to, we got to jazz it up with a cute little bow and make it all pretty. Um, oh, cool, Kathy. So, you already have this stuff. So, you can, you can just jump off and make you one. <clears throat> so, I know most, a lot of people go to Walmart for their groceries. So, if you're in Walmart, just... Go over there and get you some straws and a board, and you're all set, okay? So, like I said, my board and my straws. Now, I got to figure out, I hope y'all can see, and I'm kind of working upside down. So, I'm going to put this on top of this mat. That's kind of why I use this mat, is because you can see it better instead of this white thing. Thank you, Carol. Okay, so what I want, I know it's going to look upside down to you, and it's going to be backwards, <laughs> but um, <clears throat> we're going to... I'll flip it around so y'all see it. Okay, so I already know how many I got to have up here because I kind of laid it out before I got on. So, hey, Christine, to kind of figure out how I was going to do this, okay? So, this is kind of what I'm going for. Of course, this is the top, which is the bottom to you because you're looking at it wrong. Can y'all see right here? <clears throat> so, I know I'm going to do my flag. I'm going to do my flag probably as long as the straws are. That's just what I'm going to go with. I think it's pretty easy. So what I gotta figure out is how long I want the blue part because I've gotta cut this part of the blue off and leave this blue here. Does that make sense? I haven't been out over a month. Friends have been getting my groceries. Well, that's nice, Annie. I mean, some people just, you know, don't need to get out. If you've got, you know, health issues and are older and stuff, you don't need to get out. Hey, Brittany, um, <coughs> excuse me. So. I think, and I'm just going to eyeball this. I'm not going to measure. Um, uh, so it may make some of y'all cringe, but I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to kind of line it up and look at it. And I think that, I'll hold it up so y'all can see. I mean, I think that's going to be a pretty good size flag. So I'm just going to um, kind of look at it and decide that I want my field of blue to be, I'm going to say about here. Just, just how it looks proportional to me. Hey, Madeline. So I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to just cut all my little blue straws the same length, okay? This is pretty simple. I mean, this is not anything complex. So um, just about anybody could do this. Your kids could do it, but you, you know, of course you'd have to um, help them with the hot glue for sure. Yes, Charlotte, this is going to be cute, I think. Um, so I am just <clears throat> lining them up with my the one that I cut first. And I'm just going to get them all the same size. And like I said, I just kind of laid them down there and eyeballed how many red I needed, how many blue I needed, that kind of thing. So I'm just cutting these off like that. Hey, Billy, you're not late. You're good. We're making a, a flag with some Walmart paper straws out of the party section. And we're making with a... And a um, Little pallet board thing from Walmart craft section. Hey, Janet from New Jersey. I'm from down here in the South. I'm sure I sound crazy to you. <laughs> so anyway, so then I'm gonna put them here. <clears throat> and now I gotta measure how long I'm gonna put my uh, red that goes up here. So see, this is what we have, if I can hold it up. So that's what I'm going to have, and I'll let them slip out, just like this. I know you can't see where my hand is, but that's what I have so far. So now I've got to measure how long I want the red ones to go here. But see, I like the stripes. I think it looks cool, and then the dots where the stars are. Thank you, Cheryl. Hey, Kimberly. Okay. So now i got to get them all lined up again, and they want to roll all over the place, so you just kind of have to <laughs> bear with me. You're fine, Sherry. You're fine. I'm just kind of getting started. We're making a flag with, with um, some Walmart paper straws out of the party section and a board from Walmart. 
So I was trying to think of something that you guys could do that you could get supplies because like, I know that not everybody's been released to let out yet. Um, thank you, Cynthia. They, um, our state in Mississippi has, and I'm looking at my, my blue straws and they're not all the same size. <laughs> so I'm going to have to cut them again because <laughs> somehow they're different. But anyway, so I'm going to go with the shortest one and I'm just going to snip it off. I guess I was talking too much. Hey, Nancy. You got that gnome painted yet, Nancy? So I'm just trimming them again, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, good, Janet. Good. I can't wait to see all of y'all's painted. <clears throat> and but those two are good. Hey, AJ. Let's see. My husband heard you talking the other day and said she's not a Yankee. No, I'm not. I am Mississippi born and raised and still here and I'm from the South and I have that. <laughs> I am full of Southern hospitality. I don't meet a stranger. I honestly don't. Anybody that knows me can vouch for that. Um, I could talk to anybody. So it's, <laughs> I guess that's just, that's just me. That's who I've been my whole life. So <clears throat> I don't need stranger. And that's a good, good thing, and it's it can be a bad thing. <laughs> stranger danger. <laughs> but I'm okay. <clears throat> okay, so got my blue. They all look the same now. <laughs> I had to do a little adjustment. I did get my little tray made. Oh, good. Diane, you made the little tray. Cool. Okay, so I got them all good. Now I got to see... So I'm just lining them up all over here <clears throat> so I can make sure to cut these to go in this part. So I am, let's hope I cut all them the right way. So I'm just going to kind of mark and just cut. And y'all have some sad news. I broke, you know, the janky scissors that I say I have those janky scissors and I shouldn't, I should have fished them out of my trash can so y'all could see them. The ones I cut the, uh, uh, big craft sticks with I broke them yesterday and those were my good janky scissors <laughs> those are the ones that are dull and I just cut um, <clears throat> I just cut stuff that um, that I don't really care if my scissors are dull or not like those craft sticks cut what you off the blue ones how I'm not understanding Cynthia what you're saying um, I just kind of eyeballed how big I wanted it. So I'm not, um, uh-oh, I'm going to have to look it up, Nancy, and see where it is. <clears throat> so I'm just cutting my, my um, red ones all the same length, hopefully. So, And then, you know, I can save the ends of those, and I can definitely do something with those. Okay, so... And this is very inexpensive. I don't remember how much the straws were, but they're not, they're not a lot. So are y'all seeing a lot of paper straws in the fast food restaurants and all that good stuff where y'all are? Or is that, I know California's doing it, but I didn't know if it was, you know, anywhere else. Okay. So now, <clears throat> if you want to do it just like what I'm doing, I'll tell you how many blue ones I have. Um, but you can also eyeball it too. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven blues, and then of course I have seven red to go next to the field of blue. And then down here at the bottom, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight regular size red ones. So seven of the red in half and seven of the blue, however I cut them. And then I have um, eight of the whole red ones, okay? And I'll try to, I'm going to try to hold it where you can see it because I know it's hard to see <clears throat> with it laying down. See like that? So I have over here, <laughs> oh gosh, trying to hold a bunch of marbles or something. Yeah, Bobby, I know they're not made for cutting wood, but I broke the handle. Like I was trying to cut something and the, the handle just popped in half and I was like, oh no, my scissors. So over here, underneath the blue, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and they go all the way across. 
And then I have seven blue, which I kind of eyeballed how big I wanted it to be. And then I have seven over, red ones over here. So eight whole ones, seven and seven, okay? <clears throat> so you're gonna need, it took all of the striped ones out of that whole pack. So it's 30 pieces. So I used all of the stripes. So I guess 15. <laughs> So, <clears throat> if I do my math right. So, now I just got to get it all centered on my board. Hey, Bill. California, you have to ask for a straw. Well, uh, my husband and I went on a cruise uh, right after Christmas. And they have, um, they can't have any straws on board at all. So, they have uh, edible straws. And I wasn't a big fan. So, I got some of those stainless ones. <clears throat> so, I'm pretty sure we'll, I'll be going to paper straws before it's all over with. Okay, so I'm just kind of centering it, if y'all can see, and I'm kind of making it to where I got, you know, even space all the way around and making it look straight. And then I'm going to have to let go of it all and let it roll away. Hey, Deborah. <clears throat> so what have y'all guys been doing today? Of course, I had to work. I know some of y'all saw my, my post today. I just felt like writing something and from my heart today and okay so uh, that's about where I think I want it I think it looks about even so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the bottom one here <clears throat> I think I'm gonna hold the bottom two because I gotta have a guide thank you Nancy so I'm gonna put all of them right here and I got two at the bottom and the reason I'm gonna do two is because when I pick this one up the bottom one I want to have a guide of where to put it when I put it back down so I know exactly where I'm going. Hey, Deborah, good. I'm glad you're here. So I'm just going to put a little line of hot glue. And these are papers, guys, so it doesn't take a lot to hold them down. And I'm going to hold it up so you can see it. So like I said, I'm holding that second one in place so I'll have a guide of where to lay that one down. Working from home, ready to get back to life, back to normal. I know, we are too. It's just everybody's just tired of kind of being confined in the house, but some of us are still working and I'm still working, but <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to pick it up and show you. So I just glued that first one down. So there's my first one, okay? So I just put that on there. If y'all can't see for the comments, you can swipe the screen and the comments will go away. And while you're looking at the comments and if it says down there to do this, y'all can do, y'all can sprinkle. Or you can hit uh, notify me when she's live and you can also follow. So you can do that. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Kim. All right. So there's my first one. So now the rest of it's going to kind of get a little easier. <clears throat> so I'm just going to start um, putting, I'm kind of turning it where you can see. I'm just basically just putting a little bit of glue in front of that one because that's our guide now. And I'm going to um, asking for a friend. I missed that. Newbie from Kentucky. Hey, Kimberly. Well, welcome. I'm glad you're here. It's okay, Kaylee. Yes, well, Kaylee, it's one of those boards from Walmart in the craft section. And then I have the paper straws from the party section. Um, I don't remember how much they were, and it doesn't say. Um, but they're these little party straws. And I'm using the polka dot blue ones for the blue part and the striped red ones for the red and white part. So, made a trip for groceries and essentials. Okay. So I got two on there and then I'm just gonna keep going and you know if you have um, if you have some wood dowels in your craft stash you can totally do this with wood dowels just paint on red and paint some white or you could do them striped <clears throat> or striped is that the proper word striped or striped and then you could just cut them or whatever and you could do the same thing with wood dowels um, you could do it, do it with pencils. You could do, you know, just let your imagination kind of go and go with what you have at home because you totally can use a lot of different things for this. You could roll up scrapbook paper and make little things or whatever. You could do all kinds of stuff. So just kind of let it, let your imagination go. And that's what I hope to do is just kind of inspire you to do things and you can put your own spin on it. And that's what a lot of you've done. Y'all sent me pictures in my inbox and I absolutely love it. I love seeing stuff that y'all create and doing a little bit of uh, 
doing a little what I did, but then turning it into something else. Y'all have done the paintbrush craft and some of y'all's paintbrushes, you painted it. Some of them were pink and green and the flowers were different. And it's, you know, even though it was something that I did, but yours looks totally different because you put your own spin on it to match your decor or whoever you're giving it to. And it was just, it's absolutely gorgeous. So, um, so I hope that y'all try this and I would love for y'all to send me pictures. I absolutely love it. It does my heart good. Um, so bought straws from the Dollar Tree and see, I think Dollar Tree has the straws. Um, like I said, they're starting to pop up pretty much everywhere as they're trying to get us used to this paper straw stuff. But, um, so I think Dollar Tree has straws. I don't know. I had never looked for them there, but, um, but I know they have them every once in a while. Um, I think Dollar General has them too, but I know for sure that Walmart has them and that Walmart has them in other colors. So you could do other things with these and they're so inexpensive. But like I said, these things are, they're, I mean, like I'm trying to bend it and they're bent, but it's, they're a lot stiffer than I actually thought they were going to be. Okay, so I got all the red on. You see, my little stripes aren't all matching up, but that's okay. That looks cute. Jessalyn wanted to tell you that she says, Hey, Jessalyn, how are you? A little farm girl. That's my friend's daughter. She has all kinds of chickens and goats and all kinds of stuff. And I see all her adventures on Facebook. Seeing it from Ireland. Oh, cool. That would be cool. I don't know what the Ireland flag looks like, but that would be awesome. But anyway, so you can just let your imagination run wild and you can do whatever variation you want. You could spell out words and cut them to spell out something. That would be neat. But like I said, you can use dowels, whatever. Uh, all right, so now I'm gonna start with my blue and I'm just gonna put, I gotta see how far my, to put my glue. So I'm gonna go to right there. And it, it doesn't take a lot to hold these little things down. So um, they are definitely lightweight. Hey, Leslie from Tennessee. Hey, Carrie. So I'm just putting a little bit here and just gluing my blue on. This is going to be kind of a quick, quick craft tonight, but that'll be okay. It's going to be so cute. Looks like it's waving. It does, doesn't it? See? And I wasn't even trying to line them up. I was just, just sticking them on there. <laughs> no rhyme or reason, just sticking them on there. So just keep on going. And I'll tell you something I did do. Um, I did get some Gorilla Glue glue sticks because I was running out. It was an emergency. And um, let me just say, they are awesome because I usually just get, you know, Hobby Lobby glue sticks or Michaels or wherever I happen to be. But these Gorilla Glue sticks, it's, it was long, but um, I've used it some. They, they will, I swear they would hold a car bumper on. They're that, they're that, that good. They hold stuff really good together. So I was kind of hesitant about trying them because they are kind of pricey. Like, uh, I got about, I don't know, 15 or so in a pack. I don't really know how many, how many was in there, but it looks, looks like 15 or something like that. And, um, they're like seven. And of course they're the long ones. They're, if I can get one out of my container, they're all stuck in here. But here's my container. So they're the, the long ones. And they were like um, $7.97 or something at Walmart. So they are a little more pricey. But gosh, they're so worth it. They, I'm telling you, they would hold on a car bumper, I think. Yes, Carol. <laughs> they would hold on a car bumper. Hey, I can fix anything with a glue with a glue gun. So I've, I've even fixed, um, you know, the little molding pieces that go around your house. The little baseboard on the floor. We had, I had a piece in my house and it was like a little bitty piece like this. And so it would come off and because they couldn't shoot it with a nail gun, it was too small because it will split the wood. It was a little bitty piece of molding around the stairs or something. And, um, I was like, one day I just said, you know what? I'm just going to get out my hot glue gun. I'm glued on. I glued it on and it worked. <laughs> so don't put, don't put it past me because I'll, uh, I'll try to stick it down with a glue gun and these Gorilla Glue Sticks. Yeah, buddy. Put that car bumper right on there. Colin duct tape. You're so funny. All right. Last blue one. There we go. This is looking so good. 
Uh, you love how it's all turquoise. That's my favorite color. If you didn't know, <laughs> that's my favorite color. Hence the name tur Turquoise Valentine because Valentine's my last name and then uh, turquoise. And I've got to sneeze. See? Look how cool that looks. I mean, it's not stars, but, you know, you get the, you get the idea. All right, so now we're going to finish this up here. And I'm hoping they're all going to be the right length. But, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay. So. Uh-oh. Kind of got a little wonky with that glue. So this is so easy. It's not really, um, it's not hard at all. So. Just glue and stick them down. I think you're going to, if you buy these, I think you're going to be, um, the, um, Surprised at how, how actually, you know, they're like cardboard. Have I tried the glue stick in the free? No, Nancy, I haven't. I have There I am. Y'all there? <laughs> it left me for a second. Are y'all there? It said trying to reconnect. I don't know what happened. Y'all, somebody comment so I know y'all are there. Okay. Five other. Hey. Are y'all there? I know it's like a delay from when you actually comment to when I see it. Okay, good. Because it, I looked up and it was like reconnecting. I was like, oh, no, y'all are gone. Okay. So, good. Y'all are here. Redo your bedroom. I painted it gray and I'm using turquoise. Oh, that was nice. That's sweet. I inspired you. It's just a happy color to me and I just love it. And I just like it. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Somehow I'm missing one. That, oh, that's it. Okay. So I had lost one. Almost done. Then we we'll get to working on our bow. Y'all know I'm not doing a, a real bow. <laughs> Y'all come here for bow, bow talent. This girl has zero. Zero. Nine. Nine. No bow talent here. I just kind of have to do the faux bow thing. But I gotta learn how. I got a bodabra, a little bodabra thing, and not even broke it out yet. <laughs> oh, hey Cheryl, you're you're good. We're just taking a um a Walmart little board from Walmart craft section, and the paper straws, the red, and they have polka dot and striped in the pack in the blue, and this is what we did. Look at that, guys. Yeah, my, look at all my stripes. They kind of look all wonky, but I wasn't trying to line them up. If you want to go do that, you can. But look how good it looks. I think my blue looks big enough. Look at that. Doesn't that look cute? Turquoise and teal and coral. Yes, I like coral too, Gail. So y'all think it looks okay? Okay. I don't know if I need to put... I don't know. The blue look kind of looks a little squished down, doesn't it? I think I need one more up here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more because I can't. I, I'm my OCD's kicking in. I gotta make it look kind of right. There we go. Yeah, I think one more is gonna do it. <laughs> yes, that looks better. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. Now I'm gonna get my blue one back out. Not my blue, what am I doing? Whoa. I told y'all I used all my red, so I'm gonna have to uh, piece some of these together, which that's fine. We're gonna make it work. More blue, yeah, I did, Colin. I put more blue. And then I'm just reaching over here and getting all my little scraps, and I'm having to piece this together to make. But you know what, it lines up, the stripes line up, so I'm going with it. Go. Why didn't I just go all the way across? There we go. So yeah, if you haven't tried the Gorilla Glue Sticks, it's worth it to me. Thank you. How many stars? Well, they're dots, Bill. But it's supposed to be 50. But we're not counting. We're not counting. There's more than 50 states now, so. Isn't it like 50? Is it 51 now? Okay. That looks better, doesn't it? Where'd I get the straws? I got them at Walmart, Lois. They're in the, um, 
they're in the craft set i mean the party section at walmart and i don't for the life of me i don't remember how much they were but i don't think they were very much but you know i'll use these again i'll use these at christmas I'll make a star with them at Christmas or Valentine's. I will use these again for something else. So I'll just put them in my stash and then one day I'll be like, oh, I need a straw and or for that and I'll break it out. But you can, um, like all these little pieces, you can, you know, glue them to a round little um, piece of wood or something and you could just put them all around and make a star with it all the way around. Or, I mean, I look at that and I think candy cane at Christmas. So you can use these for other holiday, other, um, yes, Janet, it's a whiz whimsical flag. Um, you can use these straws for lots of things. So I'll stick these in my stash and I'll break them out one day when I need something. I'll be like, oh, I got those straws. So yes, I'm gonna break those out. So there's the flag, but I wasn't even trying to line this up, but you know, it looks good to me. I think it looks cute. It looks actually better in person than it does on the camera to me, but so now, okay, so here's where I'm going to do a bow and then we might add some, something, something, something around the edges. So my something, something and see what y'all think. I thought about, since this is rope up here, I thought about doing rope all the way around the edge. Let me see if I can hold it and show it to y'all. And gluing it to the edge, if y'all can see that. Y'all might can see it better down here. Like that. But I don't know. Is that going to be too much? Get your facts straight, Mom. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Use the ends to make... Yes, the fireworks. and Yeah, you could absolutely do that. That'd be cute. And if you bundled them up together and make little fireworks or 4th of July stuff, it'd be cute. A little something, something. Yep. A little something, something. When you, Carol, I'm working on that. I gotta get my shirts with a little something something on it. Okay, so do y'all think I should glue that around the edge like that? But then I have this. This is actually Christmas, if y'all can't read that, Christmas party bows, and I think I either Hobby Lobby, and I probably got it when Christmas was on sale or something like that. And um, I thought about, um, gluing this to the bottom or is that just too much and doing the rope or whatever but I don't want to do this all the way around I mean I could but like it without the rope 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 everybody saying rope and then somebody said I don't like the rope so but then I kind of like the pom-poms you know pom-poms make it all happy <laughs> And I could take this off and use this instead. That would be so cute. There's just so many possibilities. And that's, I hope y'all do that. I hope y'all just kind of take this and run with it and do your own thing. Okay, everybody's saying rope. So we're going to use rope. And I don't know if y'all saw the flip-flops I posted. That's why this tape is on the end. My husband was trying to get it through those holes in the flip-flops that I made and trying to get it real small to go through those holes. And finally, I had to get he had to do it and I had to get him to help me. And um, he's my behind the scenes man. So, okay. All right. So rope, rope, rope. Everybody says rope. So let's see. And I gotta figure out, and the trouble with doing this is you gotta figure out where to start that you're gonna not gonna notice the end as much. Collecting 5% of the shirt. You're so funny. I love the pom-poms too. I still might do the pom-pom. Okay, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start on this side. And this stuff unravels, so I'm probably just going to cut that unraveled part off. See, I need my janky scissors. My janky scissors are dead, and they're in the garbage. They're broken. Broke the handle. I was cutting something. I don't even know what I was cutting. I was like, oh, no. But they were just cheap scissors. And okay. So I'm just going to... So yeah, Carol, next week we'll attempt to attach a car bumper on with the Gorilla Glue. So that's so funny. There we go. Thank you, Leslie. 
you order, oh, you order, I, I saw where you ordered that. I was working on stuff earlier, Susan, the um, flip flops and the stuff. Yep, I was, that's what I was doing right before I come on, was cutting out stuff. <laughs> cutting, 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 cutting. The smell of, of burnt wood has actually become my new um, cologne. <laughs> Cause I cut stuff with my glow forge and that's what, I mean, it's not bad in here. We have it vented out the window, but it's not bad. Um, so, but I, you know, you can smell it. So that's my new start with in the rub and then add a little something, something like a bow. I'm going to add a bow. So yeah, we're going to do that in a minute. All right. So I'm just going around the sides. So we can't just have it plain. This kind of adds a little rustic touch to it too. So I'm just, Bending it over that corner and then just laying it down on here. I don't know, Joey, and this is my first time using it. And it said, actually, I wish I had saved the package. Because it said, um, I want to say that it said indoor outdoor. So if I hang this on my door, we're definitely going to find out. Because Mississippi heat is brutal. So I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Rhonda. Okay. Now, see, I'm down to my, I'm telling y'all, I go through glue sticks like, like crazy. So, I've got to get one out. See, I like everything this color. If I see something that color, it's coming home with me, and I'll put it in here somewhere. <laughs> so, I've told y'all my trick about the glue sticks. I just put a little dot on the new glue stick, and then I just load it up, and it stick it right up to the next one, and then it'll just keep feeding. So... That's my little tip. I do, um, do I use DT's? Yes, actually, these are Dollar Tree scissors and I use them all the time. But I only, I have like all these scissors over here in my little compartment. And somehow my little truck, I have a little cart over here. And somehow I still managed to not be able to find my scissors. <laughs> so, you can definitely not have enough pair of scissors because, oh, and then, you know, plus the pair I have over here because um, this table will get full of stuff and I'm like, where's my scissors? Where's my scissors? You better hope it's outdoor because you're ripping your bumper off tomorrow. I promise. I bet this glue could hold it on. I really do. I'm telling you. Cool tip for the glue. Thank you. You're welcome. I just, that's, it just, Cause you know, sometimes you'll sit there and pull the trigger and pull the trigger and it's like having to feed the, you know, it won't get a grip on the stick. So I just glue it to the other one and it keeps going. Yes, the white, I just, yes, these. The white and red scissors, yes, they're from um, Dollar Tree. And they're like those industrial like kitchen scissors. They're Betty Crocker and they came from Dollar Tree. And they are, um, they'll cut some stuff. That's them, them super duper scissors. So, but my favorite pink handled janky scissors bit the dust. I actually took a pair of them. I was going to make a post about it because y'all know I call them my janky scissors. Oh, Tammy, you like purple? Cool. I like purple too. I like all the colors. I love color. Okay. So now I'm up here at the top back where I started. So now I'm going to try to glue it and make it look inconspicuous that that's where the end is but i'll tell you what this rope from the dollar tree this nautical rope um is so um hard to cut it's like when i cut it i feel like i'm like gnawing it through with my teeth or something it is some oh i burnt myself it is some uh tough stuff i just burnt the fire out of my finger should have all my little protectors. So anyway. Hey Jen. Hey Pam. Okay. So that's what we have so far. Ta-da. Isn't it cute? The rope on the end, on the edge. That does give it a little something, something. <laughs> all right. I'm going to glue that down a little more. Because, you know, it, it wants to come unraveled. So I'm just going to try to. Glue it so it don't come unraveled. Hey, Amy. Glue kits. Yes, Kaylee. I, mm, I burnt myself really bad one time and had to go see a plastic surgeon right here. 
it was it was bad but because I have the I have the dual temp hot and whew, the hot and the high and the low look at all the glue strings everywhere um and I was gluing something and it, I was had I was holding something like this and gluing it and it dripped off and went right here on my hand and let me tell you what it burned bad for days. Okay, so there it is. Kind of glued that down. Okay, so now I'm going to set it over here. And then I'm going to work on my bow. And, you know, I'm going to do the the refabbed bow. As Brooke from Refab, if you don't follow her, she's awesome. And she kind of has made this bow kind of, you know, that's her thing. So all I did was cut out. I have different stuff in my stash. This is wired ribbon. It's got wire on the edges. And so that works good because it's going to want to stand out. So I'm just laying it crisscross. And like I said, I'm giving her credit because this is her, this is her uh, creation that she does. And um, so I'm giving her credit where credit's due because it is too cute and it adds so cute. Is the blue on the right side of the left? It, it's on the correct side, but my, the, my phone Facebook, I have a Samsung. It won't let me flip it. So like this is actually printed backwards so that you can read it. That block right here, in real life, it's it's written on there backwards. A friend of mine did that for me. But it's printed on here backwards so that when you see it, it's like looking in a mirror. It's it's right, right. So um so yes, this is actually the correct way when you see it. So see, like when I hold this up, that's backwards to you, correct? It's backwards. So this is printed backwards in real life, but when you look at it, it's right. But yeah, so it's actually facing the correct way. So, but I'll post pictures when we're done and you'll you'll see. But yeah. Yes, love Brooke too. She's she's a fabulous, fabulous lady and cute as a button. Okay, so there's that. And I'm just and what I did before I came on, I just cut some of this ribbon that I had in my stash. And I didn't have any blue was my problem. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go cut some fabric. So I just tore some strips of fabric. So I just kind of used what I had because I can't go in and get anything anywhere. But I'm just going to use what I got. So I'm just, I got some, just did some random blue and red. And um, there's some, and I just picked this up, guys, wherever. Um, some of it, like this, this came from Hobby Lobby, this piece that I just had. It's got like little silver dots on it. Um, Hobby Lobby had that marked down to 99 cents, like, months ago. Um, and just, I pick it up different places, like, after Christmas sale, or some of it's, that's Valentine's from the Dollar Tree, that gingham. Um, I mean, a lot of this, this is Dollar Tree, this little lace. Um, uh, just, I pick it up all kinds of places, like this one. I got this at, I think I got this at Kroger, and it was 69 cents on sale. So, see, it was just... I just get it random places, and before you know it, you have a whole whole bunch. But I didn't have any blue like this, so I just tore. I have a big fabric stash too, guys, if in case you were wondering. But um, I just tore. See, that's like blue gingham. Didn't put any buffalo check in there, but it's buffalo check blue. No, let me do this. So I just put a little fabric in there and some wired ribbon and then lace. I just have little pieces of lace and um, I'm just kind of making an X with it. Like this. I think I need some. Then the, this right here, this was actually um, at Christmas in Hobby Lobby where they have all the wrapping paper and all the ribbon and stuff in that first aisle. I guess it's the first aisle in the Christmas stuff where the wrapping paper is. These were actually bunched together, and they were bows for packages. So this is this is real fabric ribbon. This is not cloth, but it's you know it's got that curly look to it. And I just I buy them when they're half off, and then I'll just take them apart and I'll use them for ribbon, just like what we're doing here, because that's gonna give it a little something something, because <laughs> it's all curled up. So I'm just layering, and I gotta hold that one down because you know it wants to wants to pigtail all up so I'm just putting some stuff down but like this is just some cloth I had just trying to make it all cutesy and I'm just randomly just putting it hoarding 
Yes, Colin. It's not call. It's not hoarding when you use the stuff. <laughs> hey, Rhonda Kelly. How are you? All right. So I'm just layering it on here, guys, and you're gonna get to see. And I see here this was this was I think on the same card as those red polka dot ones, and it's white. And got red little ticking on it. So I'm going to put it in there too. And then I'm just making my little pile. Just as random as I can be. I'm a ribbon addict. Yes, I, I am too. I'm an addict with lots of stuff like fabric and, um, let's see. Let's put that in here. Fabric and, um, I do too use it, Colin. Don't be lying. But this is Christmas stuff and I'm using it. I use it. I'm going to put a little burlap in there, too. Bring out some of that burlap. Okay. And I use... Now, Brooke, I think she uses just a piece of jute or something. But what I have found work works for me is uh, zip ties. And I get those at the Dollar Tree, too. And you get 60 in a pack. So, that's a pretty good deal for a dollar. So, I am... That's what I use. Okay? So, I'm using my zip tie. And I'm just going to slide it up under all my little stuff. Can y'all see? Slide it up under there. And then I'm going to cinch it down. Because this lets me get it so tight. Because when I do the jute, I can't hold it down and get it tight enough. And then I do it and it's too loose. And then I have to redo it. So I just started using these and it really helps me get it tight. You like to keep her on her toes. <laughs> That's my son, Nancy. <laughs> Oh, he just likes to, he likes to give me a hard time, but I give him a hard time too, so he'll tell you. Okay, so I'm just got, got it together, and I got my little, that little square thingamajigger, whatever that is. Um, and y'all gonna laugh at me because I just said thingamajigger. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna get it really tight, as tight as I can get it, because the tighter you get it, the more, um, like, fluffed out it's going to be. Like I said, this is Brooke from Refab. If you don't follow her, you need to go follow her page. She's awesome and cute as a bug. So, uh, anyway. And then you have this. See, look at all the little happy little things. So, I am just going to sit here and pull them out and fluff it out so we can see all the colors. Now, this is going to be the something something that is going to make this little flag look Fan fabulous. It's just like my son too. I know. We have to give each other uh, a hard time. And then he was going to go live on Henry with me one day. And y'all see that didn't happen. He was going to be the comedian. <laughs> okay. Alright. So look how cute that is. See if you get the wired ribbon. It'll stand. It stands up. And then the fabric just kind of falls on the other ribbon and all that. So as long as you have a few pieces that have the wire ribbon, it'll kind of stand up. And I'm thinking I need to trim that. And you can give it a haircut and trim it. And if it looks like it's too big for what you made it for, just cut. Do it a haircut. There we go. And then I got this one. It's kind of what I'm doing. I don't want it to look disproportioned. Okay, so there it is. Doesn't that look all happy and festive? So then, I think maybe, I think I should put it here on the corner. Let's see, like that. I think that needs to go there. Or does it need to go over there or over here? Where the blue is or where the red, on the other side? So let me see if I can hold it at the same time there. And I know my this blue doesn't match that blue, but I'm just going with it. I think it needs to go on that side. Because this, this when you're when I'm looking at it, it's on my left, like a flag normally should look. I think it should go there. Thank you, Linda. By the blue? Okay, I think so. By the stars. I think so, too. Because when you see the after picture that I post, you're going to see that it's actually facing correctly. And to y'all, it's, it's backwards. I know it's so confusing. But it's just like looking in a mirror. Okay. Let me squinch it up. So that's gonna cover up where I where the where that joins together. That's gonna cover that up. So when you're if you're making something like this, 
you know, kind of think in your mind about the placement of what you're placing because I can cover that up with a bow. So even though it doesn't look bad, but I still know it's there. So I'm going to cover it up with that. And I think I'm going to get it all fixed like I want it to sit. Okay. And we're going to put something in the middle of it too to cover up that zip tie. All right, I'm putting on my car bumper with the Gorilla Glue. Yes, yeah, Sylvia, I want to see yours. Oh, your grandbaby loves anything with flags. Bless him, Regina. He's so thinking cute. Okay. Yeah, I'll be putting on the car bumper next week with my Gorilla Glue going. Gorilla Glue. Oh. My best friend, Deidre, we like to pull the bumper off her car one time. She was moving cross tie a little. She had cross ties in her driveway, and um, she decided <laughs> she decided that we couldn't move them by ourselves because I was trying to help her fix her yard, and so <laughs> she had a Ford Taurus. And Deidre, if you're on here, you had to vouch for the story because you know the story. Um, so she decided she was gonna literally tie a rope around her bumper, and she moved those cross ties with her car, her Ford Taurus, back in. 1990 something like 90 I don't know 95 or something I don't know but she moved those cross ties and I was like oh my gosh your bumper is going to come off your car and mm -mm, she got her done she moved them cross ties with her Ford Taurus so yeah she's that friend that you have all these crazy stories but anyway she's on here somewhere I think okay y'all this is like so cute See, look at the little curlies. So when Christmas rolls around and um, they have these, like I said, this is fabric ribbon, guys. I just I just bought some. It's like maybe three of them on a card. And I want to say, no, that's not it. I want to say they were like $2 or something. And I just took them apart. And then I just have it in my ribbon stash. And like today, I'm like, oh, I need that. That will look so cute. See how cute that is? So cute. But done it, it gives it that little extra something, something. I think so. You gotta have a bow. Because it kind of looks plain without it, but now it looks so cute. So, but we're not done. I gotta give the bow a little something, something. Okay, so I have I have a button problem too. Um, this is not even my big jar of buttons. I have a bigger jar of buttons, but they're like browns and there's some colored mixed in. But this is these are this is three containers from the Dollar Tree. They come in these little round looking little canister things. Um, I usually see, see them by the cash register. This is just three of them dumped in here, and they're all colored. Because there's just something about a bunch of buttons in a jar that just makes my heart go pitter patter. So I love buttons, and I have them displayed in little glass jars up here in my craft room because I just love them. So I go through my Dollar Tree buttons. I mean, there's some big buttons in here. Look. But I got a craft coming up I'm going to do with y'all. We're going to make some stuff with these buttons. But anyway, because I like buttons. So I got, um, I picked out of here. First step in rehabilitation is admitting you have a problem. I do not have a problem. I use all of this stuff. I use all of this stuff. Or if I don't use it today, I might use it next week in a craft. I promise, Kyle, I'm going to use it. And it's all organized in here, so it's not hoarding. Hoarding is when you buy stuff and you just open the door and throw it in, and it's not hoarding. It's organized. Okay, curl that ribbon with a curling iron. I, you know, I bet you could, Tammy. I bet you could just, because I straightened that fabric the other day with my flattening iron. So, but anyway, so I got a white button, and I got a blue button, and a little bitty red one out of that thing. And I'm just going to glue them on top of each other, and we're going to stick it in the middle of the bow. Like I said, these little, these, this glue, these buttons aren't going anywhere, I promise. So we'll see if they stand the heat of Mississippi, if I put it outside. So I'm just stacking up my buttons. Thank you, Leslie, for sprinkling. Trying not to burn myself. Okay, so there I got my little, just a little something to go on the bow add a little something so I can hide that um, zip tie, which you really can't see it with all the ribbon going on, but I'm all, um, yeah, you, Sylvia, you're not hoarding. 
We're not hoarding. Clean the craft room and find all kinds of stuff. I do too. And then I'll organize stuff and put it somewhere different. I'm like, where did I put that? I, happens to me all the time. Okay. So I just put some hot glue on my button. And this makes it even cuter. Thank you, Annette. So I hope y'all give this a try. So paper straws from Walmart. You go get your groceries, go through the aisle, pick up your straws. And then they have these little palette boards. And they also have the stained brown ones that you can get. So it would look cute on a brown one if that's the only one you can get. Or if all they have is the brown ones, then you could come home and just whitewash some white paint over that bad boy and it'll look just as pretty. Or you could paint it a color. You could paint it, you know, whatever color you wanted to. If you if that was you felt like it needed paint, it would look good. So if they just have the brown, just get the brown and paint it white or just brush over some dry brushing and some white. So see guys, I put that on the, look at the buttons on there. It's all, it's all fixed. Like I say, it's all about the details. You gotta add the little, um, yes, not hoarders, we're collectors. There you go, see? But you can ask my son, when he needed something for a school project, mama broke it out in the craft room. We cut up stuff with the Cricut. We did poacher boards, we did all that. And he can tell you that too. My Gorilla Glue didn't hold up in Kansas. Uh-oh, don't tell me that. I've got faith in the Gorilla Glue. I'm gonna glue a bumper on a car next week. <laughs> I'm gonna try it and see. But anyway, but this is cute, guys. So if you wanted to put it outside, you know, you could always line up where you're gonna put your straws and then you could just kind of put some E6000 or something down and then just put all your straw, you know, put them on the E6000 and they'll stay. And the same with the bow if you wanted to put it outside. So I'm not, hey Maureen, you're okay. You can watch the replay. But, um, so I'm not, you know, I might not even hang this outside. I don't even know where I'll hang it. I have a little place in my garage. I have a old church pew and a little table. And I usually put a little display there like when people come in my door in my garage and they, you know, they have a little something to look at. So I usually put stuff there and um, decorate it all up. So this is probably where it's gonna go is beside my door in my garage. It's probably where it's going. So, um, but I just love it. I think it turned out so precious. I hope y'all try it. It's um, pretty easy. But like I said, if you wanna put it outside, just brush you some E6000 on the board and then do the straws and E6000 the bow down. So in case it does fall off with the heat, cause you know, it gets, it gets pretty brutal here. So, but I appreciate y'all hopping on tonight and I hope y'all sprinkle and um, if you find me for the first time, just click the screen and it'll say follow. You can follow me and I do crafts twice a week and so you never know what I'm going to come up with. So, I appreciate y'all coming on. I love Gorilla Glue and have had ornaments and made in the attic and been hot and they're still together. Well, good. That's good because see, I worry about putting my stuff that I make in the attic too because of the hot glue because it will come it'll come apart and I'm like you, I was like, well, so that's good to know that the Gorilla Glue hold up in the attic because it gets hot in the attic. All right, guys. Hey, Shania, yeah, go back and watch the replay. So if you missed it, guys, you're just hopping on, you can go watch the replay. I have lots of other videos you can watch too. Um, I hope I've inspired you to do something patriotic and y'all just keep tuning in for more good stuff coming on, coming at you. And um, thank you, Nancy. Um, I appreciate that. So y'all are the reason I'm here and I do this and I, I love to sit here and chat with y'all and find out what's going on in your neck of the woods. So um, I hope y'all have a good evening and I will see y'all probably Friday. Okay guys. Night. See you later. Be safe.